Let's talk a little bit more about what dyslexia is. It's genetic. It runs in families. So you're trying to understand what's the risk factors for your child. Well, the number one risk factor is mom and dad. If mom or dad have any history of learning difficulties, whether it's the reading, whether it's the spelling and writing, whether it's the math, any history of learning difficulties, then their child or children have an increased likelihood of having a learning difficulty itself. It doesn't matter exactly what the percentage is. I can tell you it's a 50% more likely or 80% more likely. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's 20% more likely. If you know that you have any family history, you will want to be more vigilant in figuring out, does my child struggle in reading or spelling or mathematics? Because the earlier we identify it, the earlier we can do something about it to begin to change their skills and get their abilities to match their potential. So the reason why we say dyslexia is genetic is because they've studied the brain structure of a small group of people who had learning disabilities and dyslexia. And when they went and looked at their brain structure after they had passed away, they found that certain parts of the left hemisphere had areas of the wiring that was less efficient. Efficient meaning the wiring's not there, to, it's not going to communicate as effectively when all the wiring's not lined up the way the wiring typically lines up. Now, keep in mind, typical brain, you have a hundred billion brain cells in this brain. It's an amazing um, organ designed for learning. But the number of brain cells does not really dictate your intelligence or your learning rate, your speed of learning, or even how much you're going to learn. It's not about the number of brain cells, it's about the wiring that connects them together to build these networks. It's estimated that from 100 billion brain cells, you've got about 100 trillion connections. That's where the intelligence is. That's where the processing efficiencies are. That's where the learning capacities are strengthened and improved, and that's the skills that bring these skills together.